Hello guys, welcome to our channel where we do uh, reviews, unboxings, uh, assemblies and more. So today will be another episode. Stop it. Get some help. Hey, so this is actually present Chester talking. This is actually recorded now, right now in August 2021. However, this entire video in this PC build has actually was actually recorded quite a while back. So do forgive us if that past Chester was a little bit shy because uh, you know everybody grows, right? So anyway, uh, give us a bit of chance to give us a bit of leeway in this video, and yeah, back to you, past Chester. I'll be showing you guys on how to install a AMD board and its components so without further ado let's begin okay so listed out are the different parts that we're going to be using for this build so first up with the motherboard this is the asus tough b450m plus gaming uh, we're going to be build, pairing this with the amd ryzen 3300x uh, third gen processor for cooling wise we're going to be using the stock uh, amd rave stealth cooler Okay, for storage, we're going to be using a crucial 2.5 inch solid state drive, that's 1 terabyte. For RAM, we're going to be using a pair of 8 gig each Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 8 gig stick, so a total of 16 gigabytes for that. For graphics, we're going to be using Galaxy GTX 1660 Super. Alright, software is your standard Windows uh, Home. 64 bit and last but not least, eh, sorry, second I, second last item would be for power. We're going to be using the Cooler Master uh, MWE 550 watt gold. So first but not least, the chassis which is not in this frame. The chassis we'll be using for today would be Silverstone PS 15 B. That is the uh, suited for this micro ATX build. All right. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, alright, so we're gonna get started right now with the CPU as usual. Okay, make sure that the CPU triangle all right, is lined up with your sockets triangle. You don't want to put them in the wrong way. <laughs> no, but actually, you will not go in if you put in the wrong way also. Alright, nudge it in, then close the latch. Now we put in the CPU cooler. Because we're using the default cooler, right? So we are putting in the Rave Stealth. So for the Rave Stealth, you need to remove the default mounting uh, clips as shown in the video then you can just uh, screw it in why you have to remove it for a stock cooler i don't know all right so just screw it in but make sure when you screw it in right uh, don't screw it in a clockwise or anti-clockwise pattern it's a bit ironic lah, but screw it in crisscross pattern as shown so if let's say you're going to do it in the here you're going to make sure you're going to do it down there okay and then don't screw in one shot also so right you crisscross the pattern then you slowly adjust tighter and tighter so this is to make sure that the mounting pressure on the cpu is constant on all four edges of it all right see after that then you start to tighten it really tight but as always don't make it too tight lah, of course yeah okay after you're done then connect the power which is the four pin that is sticking out of the cooler connect it to the motherboard's very important connect it to the motherboard's cpu cooler header okay don't jam it in it should be there what i like to do is to make a small crisscross uh make, make a small loop on it on the on the wiring so that it doesn't you know stick out okay now we're going to be installing the uh ram okay so make sure if you're going to be using dual channel right make sure you install it on the two outer ones in a alternate pattern this is to ensure that dual channel compatibility okay now we're installing in the cpu power supply uh, sorry the power supply okay uh just just doing a we're going to screw it in first okay but uh this is like what i said right this is actually past chester doing so <laughs> what i'll do now actually is to actually connect the uh the what i'll do is actually connect the power pins first which is what i'm actually doing now she no, I'm not doing that. I'm doing that later. Hey, after that, you want to install the motherboard, the I/O panel, which is as shown. Make sure, very important, make sure you install the panel first before you put the motherboard. Otherwise, there is no way you're gonna have that in without you removing everything out again. Hey, now I'm removing the fans just so that there is a better clearance, so that I don't need to really squeeze my fingers around. All right, after that. 
Uh, double check everything is fine. Okay, after that then you want to install the motherboard screws in. Make sure that the standoffs are in place. Okay, then you can and you can screw them in. Uh, but this is not the same as your CPU cooler installation, so you don't really need to do this in a crisscross pattern. It's uh, whether you do it clockwise, anti-clockwise, or if you are, you know, uh, chaotic evil, you can install it in however way you like. Just make sure that you don't over-tighten the screws, that is actually very important. Okay, now we're going to be putting in the SSD in first. Okay, uh, so because solid because solid state drives do not really have any moving parts, so this is actually optional. If you if you are crazy, right, you can actually just duct tape it. It's it's fine. It's it's no worries. You drop it, it will not break. Okay, you just slide it in first into the tray, and I believe I actually put it in invert. Yeah, I actually inverted it. <laughs> okay, after that is done. Okay, then uh, now we are actually going to be connecting the cables into the power supply which now then I realize that it's actually very difficult but uh, yeah <laughs> we come a long way right okay after that uh, what we have just in connected is actually the motherboard one now this is the CPU the we call it the EPS CPU EPS the 8 pin okay connect it to the power supply first and very important, don't connect the wrong cables to the wrong headers on the power supply. You might fry the cable or worse still, you might fry either the power supply or the motherboard. After that's done, install the others. For, for example, the graphics card, the 8 pin, uh, connect the floppy, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, connect the Molex and also the SATA power. Okay, after that's done, you just want to cable manage a little bit, just want to figure out what is what. Okay, you have your USB 3 and you have the front panel audio which you have just connected that in. It's usually in the lower left side. Now this is the USB header. Okay, USB header, put it in the USB 3, sorry, USB 3 header. Yeah, put it in. It usually goes in one way. Or all these headers usually go in one way. With the exception of the front panel which you are bringing right now. Yeah, the front panel one is very very important because some of them have actually are uh, actually positive, negative, sensitive. So you gotta make sure that um, it is incorrectly, which is actually quite annoying. So usually I would advise referring to the motherboard for the diagram of uh, which goes in where. Cause usually on the motherboard itself, it's not really very very clearly labeled due to the small space. All right, after that's done, uh, connect the rest do some cable management remember a good tip is while you're installing it's a good idea to do a little bit of cable management not a lot just a little bit so that when you are uh, managing it you are uh, checking out um, it is actually not that messy at the end all right after that's done uh, connect all the remaining fan headers on the case itself okay then you screw back in the case fan with the real one which I took it out just now uh, one important thing is make sure the orientation of the fan is very important because this is a real fan right so usually we want the real fan to exhaust the air so as you can see right you can't see the branding of the fan yeah that's a good tip lah uh, if you see the branding of the fan that means that the air is flowing out in the direction that you can see the logo so we're actually pushing air we're taking the air from the front and we are exhausting it out through the back. All right, now we are just doing some cable managing. Uh, we are connecting the CPU power now, the EPS one. Okay, it's a bit of a hassle. So what I will use, what I will do now in the future will be to after I screw down the motherboard, I will actually connect the EPS power first. Actually, the motherboard twenty-four pins comes first. Then the EPS comes second. Alright, after that, uh, remove all extra panels if necessary as shown. Like I removed the front uh, panel of the case. Okay, uh, connect it, connect all the cables properly. You want to cable manage it, make sure it is neat. And most importantly, you don't want to have any loose screws <laughs> hanging around because loose screws inside the case might actually touch two metal contacts and they might short each other. And basically what that means is you have a very nice looking showpiece.
that doesn't actually work. Okay, now we are just in, uh, connecting the appropriate power cables to the solid state. Alright, so it has two connectors. One is the power, one is the SATA cable. So the SATA cable connects into the right side of the motherboard. Okay, after that, uh, video is speeding up because we are just doing a uh, leftover cable management. Yeah, uh, well, one easy way is to just, you know, squeeze in, but nah, let's not do that. So we are actually, uh, we do it properly. Lah. After that, remove the front two uh, side panels because we are going to be installing the graphics card as shown. Okay, make sure the graphic card latch on the motherboard is down. Fit it in firmly, securely. Then fit back on the rear panel and screw it in place. That is actually the Wi-Fi card. Okay, so remove all necessary, put it on firmly and screw it back on. The power cables come last, by the way. Okay, after everything is firm, then you connect the power cable to the graphics card, which in this case is a single 8-pin. Alright, if not, uh, most of it has been completed. Just a final quick check to make sure everything is good and fit on back everything. Remove the plastic cover on the glass. Oh yeah. Alright, and then screw back in and everything will be good to go. Yes, this has been a fun uh, journey with you guys. Uh, this is a, I, a Ryzen 3 coupled with a GTX 1660 Super and coupled with, paired with 16 gigs of RAM. So yes, uh, it has been fun. So uh, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm Chester and we'll see you guys.